Hello. This is the last week in our series at looking at um, honest prayers in the Bible that people have prayed to God. And this week we're looking at a prayer prayed by the early church after they had started facing opposition to talking about Jesus. And they prayed for boldness. That's kind of like courage and um, the ability to do what you've chosen to do that you know is right. And it all comes about after the story of Peter and John going to pray. Now you may know this story. Peter and John were going off to the temple to pray one day and outside the temple, can you actually, can you see them? I'm a bit far away, there we go. Off they go to the temple. And on the way they passed a man begging outside, begging for money because he couldn't work or look after himself because he couldn't walk. And he said, please, please give me some money. Please give me some money. And uh, Peter and John looked straight at him and said, we don't have any money to give you, but what we do have, we will give you. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. And his feet were strengthened and his ankles were mended and he jumped up and he praised God and went into the temple, praising God, leaping up and down with excitement because he was healed. Now, you'd think that's a happy ending, wouldn't you? But some of the temple leaders were very angry. They didn't like this Jesus that Peter and John were preaching about. And they didn't like the way everybody was following Jesus. And everybody was sort of questioning everything, the rules and the way it had all been done. And that God loved them. So they arrested Peter and John. And then they beat them up a bit and they threw them in prison. And then they had a meeting. And then the next day they said, we'll let you go, but never, ever, ever talk about Jesus again. So, what do you think Peter and John did? What would you have done? What would I have done? Well, what they did do was they went back to their church and they told their church and they prayed. And here they are, praying with their church, sharing what's happened, asking God to fill them with his Holy Spirit and enable them to be bold. So, I thought today would be a perfect opportunity to make a lava lamp. Now, I know some of you have made this at school, I think we might have had a go in Trekkers at one point. I can't remember. But anyway, let's do it again. If you've already made one for school, then hopefully you've got all the ingredients you need. Ingredients? Maybe resources or materials. Okay, so you need some vegetable oil, although I reckon probably any oil would work. I don't know. Give it a go. You need some vinegar. Now, I have got plain vinegar but I guess you could use any sort of vinegar. You need, um, no, it says baking powder. No, it says baking soda. Now I haven't got actually any baking powder left, so I'm going to use bicarbonate of soda. Um, you need some food coloring. So I've got three types here to try. Um, I've got some measuring jugs because you need something small to mix. Um, your vinegar in and then I think you not, might need to um, measure stuff out with the other jug. You might not actually. Now most importantly you need a clear um, glass or bottle or plastic bottle but as long as you can see what's going on inside and apparently something tall and thin is going to be better to see the bubbles rising and you need a tablespoon. Okay and as always, have some kitchen roll or tissues or a tea towel on hand to wipe up any spills. All right, now also as usual, this is my first attempt, so I don't know what it's going to be like. 
All right, so let's follow the instructions. Into your bottle, add three tablespoons of baking soda. Right, let's do that first then. Now, I put my um, experiment on a tray so that if it overflows and I spill things, it's contained. But last time I did an experiment on this tray, I did sort of stain the tray. So do ask before you use anything. Okay, did I say three? One, two, three. As you can see, it's a little bit rough and ready. Okay, what's the next thing I need to do? Add the oil. All right, it says fill two thirds of your bottle with the vegetable oil making sure it rests on the top of the baking soda and doesn't mix with it. So at the moment, we don't want them to mix. Right, so two thirds is, let's see, do you think about there? Yeah, let's try that. Okay, here we go. I don't know how we make sure it doesn't mix. Oh, look, it doesn't mix at all, does it? I guess we just don't need to shake it. Oh, well, that's all I've got. Well, hopefully that will be enough. Let's see. Right, what do we do now? Mix the vinegar and the food colouring. All right, so without shaking that, I'm going to use this. Now, um, this little cup's already stained green from another experiment, so I'm going to reuse that. Mix the vinegar. It doesn't say how much vinegar. I hate that when it doesn't say how much. Mix the vinegar. Mm. All right, so I'm going to put in about a tablespoon. I think maybe more. Maybe more. Uh, I hope it works because I've obviously used up all my vegetable oil. Now, I would like to make purple my favourite colour. So I'm going to put a bit of red, Ugh, a bit smelly, and a bit of blue. It says if you've got glitter, you could make it glittery too, but let's not over egg the custard. Right, okay, be careful with your food colouring because that really does stain everything. Um, mix it, yes, let's give it a little mix. Okay, now, ah, sit back and watch, it says. Add your solution of vinegar and food colouring to the container slowly and watch what happens. Either place your phone torch or a flat torch underneath your bottle to light up the bottom and achieve the famous lava lamp glow. Hmm, okay, now, um, I'm using my camera to film myself. So I'm going to switch off, go and find another torch, and then come back. After much running around the house, I've borrowed a phone. Okay, so I need to go back to the instructions to see what I need to do. So pour the solution slowly and watch what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it up like this so you can see and Pour it in slowly. Nothing yet. Oh. Oh. So hopefully. Ah, yes, you can see some bubbles coming up. Right, let's see if I can get the torch on. There. Hmm. I don't think it makes much difference. I think, because it's quite a sunny day anyway. Look, if I hold this a bit nearer, you should be able to see the bubbles coming up. And the bubbles are slightly pink rather than purple. There's a good stream going there. Can you see? <laughs> And in a way, this 
reminds me of how the Holy Spirit can work in our lives if we ask him. Our lives can be a little bit like the oil and our kind of desire to um, live our lives for Jesus is a little bit like the bicarb. And we need to ask the Holy Spirit to come and live in us, to sort of activate our courage sometimes and to change us and to enable us to do things. So why not pray for the Holy Spirit to come into your life and to help to change you and enable you to do things for Jesus, for God? you know that you're going to find difficult to do. Bye-bye.